fuck this movie. And, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm not even saying F O C K. I'm saying the, the real way. F U C K. Fuck you, little fuckers. I hate hey, this movie. Hey, hey, save it. You might no, I ain't got the rating. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. No Good night. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Only surprise like, here is how shitty this movie ended up. You didn't being. like them fart jokes, Corey? Come on now. <laughs> I, I can say. appreciate a fart joke. <laughs> I, I say it with the very not when it's the premise of the film. <laughs> yeah. with, with the very first with the parents. I, that was that's one of those movies that like I liked it the first time I saw it and then didn't like it every other time I've seen it since. But one thing, even while I was liking it, when he it mentions that his name, his last name is Fokker, I was like, wow, what a cheap joke. I hope they don't run with this. They was like, ugh, just, just forget they said that and move on. Yeah. yeah. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a monster of its own doing. Well, the whole series is a cross between the family film and just a bunch of, of very familiar premises and the humor behind Three's Company. I mean, right from the beginning, this movie tells you what it's all about. After showing you Ben Stiller and Jessica Alba sharing a moment together while they're sticking their hands up some guy's ass, which is apparently where they pulled this movie from, and it's from that point on that you know this movie is nothing but a setup for a bunch of clumsy bathroom of sex jokes are is showing you every I think my husband is cheating on me plot line from every sitcom that you've ever seen and even then I was still expecting this movie to tie it all together with some sort of plot but they can't even do that it has no plot okay so Ben Stiller as you remember was a nurse from the previous right. films and now he's kind of the head of a whole nursing department like he's more accountancy nurse if okay. you will really right. uh, and she is a drug rep uh, okay now this is the guy who these movies have always convinced us is like he loves his wife he's a good guy but here he is like obviously going out of his way to spend extra time with this woman who's kind of obnoxious uh, because she's just Galba and exactly. she's hot. I was going to say that, yeah. So you're like, you know, your premise from the beginning is like, okay, is, are you telling us that this movie is all about will he or won't he cheat on his wife? Come okay. on, Grumpy Daddy. Come okay. to Hawaii. Okay, Grumpy Daddy will think about it. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey, hey honey. Hi. Perfect. Um, Pam, this is Andy. Andy, this is Pam, my wife. Hey. Hi. It's a, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. Your husband is a freaking rock star, but I'm sure you know how lucky you are. Yeah. I'm not. She's the rock star. Yeah. She's a rock star mom and <laughs> just full-on rockin' person. Oh. And I'm just a groupie trying to, you know, carry her amps. No, you're, you're, you're the man. It's about setting up jokes. It's, it's like all, if the first movie was the pilot yeah. of a sitcom and the second movie was maybe like the first episode of like the third season when it was run out of steam, they had to introduce some no, new characters. Oh, sorry, you're like, oh, that was cool. This is just like an episode just in the middle randomly no, this, of the this fifth is where season. They, they, they jumped the shark and added a little cute kid. Yeah, if this isn't even sweeps. <laughs> you want me to tell you what the movie's about? <laughs> it ain't about <laughs> shit, okay? That's what it is. I mean. This movie's ridiculous. If, you know what? If they ain't going to even give me the respect of trying to give me a script, a script uh, plot, then I'm not going to even sit up here and try to describe it what it is. Uh-uh, Corey. You do this to us all the time. You come out and you and you, you act like you're mad, but then really you reverse it around and go like, no, nah, I'm just kidding. No, no, I'm, I'm pissed. No, he no, is mad. No, I know. I'm, I'm He's very, been telling no. me ever since we saw this. No, I'm, I'm, I'm very fucking mad about this movie, and I'm not. I'm not even holding back on this. I try to be fair. Oh, well, there's this little part here that made me laugh, and then this part. I did laugh at some of the stuff in here, and despite that, I still hate this fucking film. You should have seen him in the theater sitting next to me about 40 minutes and he turns to me and goes, dude, I never say this, but I don't know if I can take much more of this. And I, I can tell he was not kidding. And I was like, dude, if you need to go, like, Coast and I, we got it. We got this one. I understand. <laughs> yeah. and, and he's like, no, no, I'll yeah. stick it out. And I was like, starting to get worried. He's shaking and shit. But I mean, know? I was really. And he's going, he yeah. sounds like me going, oh. But, <laughs> but you know, it's one of those things. It's one of those things where I was sitting back listening to you two <laughs> sound like an old couple in there. <laughs> Statler and, and, and Waldo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, I was just like, Dude, what were you guys expecting out of a fucking movie like this? It's like, yeah, we're going, we're going on a fucking, we're going on the one of the shittiest as movie uh, franchises of all time. How, how are you not going to expect to? Be let me pissed? tell you something. This is why I don't expect to be pissed. I'm sorry, but yeah. I've invested too much time and faith in the first Meet the Parents. Did okay? you go buy all those toys? No, I, no, I was when I had back in the day when I had HBO. Apparently, I did not sign up for HBO. I signed up for the Meet the Parents channel because that shit was on every day when I came home from work. And guess what? I sat back and I watched it. I'm the asshole that everybody <laughs> yelled at when I said, oh, it ain't that bad. Yeah. You know our friends. You know our mm -hmm. group of friends are like, oh, really? You like that? Aren't you a critic? Hey, man, it made me laugh. <laughs> oh, man, you look like Rob De Niro yeah. not taking himself seriously. <laughs> oh, man. And then the second one came out and I said, okay, 
this is really bad. All right. But mm-hmm. there were moments that I laughed. You know, they got Barbara Streisand and Dustin Hoffman to come out and like liven things up. Maybe they didn't know what they were getting into, you know, but OK, they were that's nominated, fine. Right? You know, it's gone down, but. <laughs> I wipe my hands clean. We're done with that business there. <laughs> then all of a sudden, they decide to turn this shit into a goddamn fuckers trilogy. First of all, we don't see them that much in the movie, and there even there's even wait, a little wait, plot. Wait, them who like the the, 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 kids? the kids, the okay. kids, yeah. yeah and they're even, barely you know, the characters. kids are not in this movie. Yeah, yeah they're, they're a scene. plot device to get yeah. the movie to where it needs yeah. to get. Yeah. Which is and the and big there's even a party. subplot in there where yeah. we're trying to get them into the human learning school, and they don't even resolve that. Yeah, that, 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 no, they that dropped happens. that entirely. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. They're mm-hmm. like the whole controversy. Like the little girl's got this personality where she's really smart, but she's kind of forceful, and the little boy is kind of a retard. And they're like, okay, and they're who's the who is the president or the person who just Laura Dern? Yeah, Laura Dern, who like you just never see again after this whole like, what's gonna happen? Are the kids gonna get in? I don't know. Does it matter? The movie doesn't give a shit. <laughs> so why should they should at least stayed on that plot because at least that was funny. <laughs> Seeing that kid acting like complete retard <laughs> actually had me laughing. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, he's. He's obviously the dumb one. <laughs> He's trying to put those blocks up his ass. Ghost is like, finally a character I can identify uh, okay. with. <laughs> can I do- <laughs> well, you know, I like man. this kid. <laughs> I'm making all these movies. Like, even the ones I don't like, well, there's only two that I really can actually stand. Well, the first one, okay, Ben Stiller comes home to meet the father, play by Rob De Niro, who's a ball buster. He has to deal with that, and they work their way through. All right, maybe in the end they'll be buddies and things will be all right. Second film, they're still not getting along. We still get the same old shit, but we get to meet Ben Stiller's parents. They're the liberal hippie-type parents going up against the hard-nosed, you know, uh, military guy right here who does everything by the book. And Same shit we've seen before. It didn't really work, but you know what? They had a theme. This one has nothing. nothing. It's, yeah. all, no. it's all the leftover jokes. Well, it's, all, it's a retread. It honestly... I've always hated these fucking movies. Yeah. I, I never enjoy seeing them. The, the biggest heartbreak about these movies is that Robert De Niro is starring in them. Uh, because, yeah, they're all, they're all stupid one-note jokes strung through a, a completely idiotic story that has absolutely nothing to do with family. At least that, that's what I thought watching the first two. And this one, it's, it's all of those movies combined all in one big shit ball that they're just going to give out to the audience who loves to take that shit ball and play with. <laughs> yeah, if they, movie, if to call this movie this, is going to make money. To it call this movie money. formulaic is an insult to almost every other formulaic film. It really is. Because, I mean, the, uh, you remember American Wedding? Okay, the, the third American Pie film. Oh, yeah. However, it was like a series yeah. of set pieces with practically no plot to right, string them right. together that only purpose was served to recreate some of the moments from the previous films that were popular. This is exactly that. Can it's I ex- say something about that movie, though? It was working towards a wedding. The well, this fuck, is this working, movie's working towards, I don't know. It's working towards the kid's birthday party here because they talk about it the whole film. Like, the kid's birthday party, we got to have this huge birthday party. It's like Owen Wilson comes back into the picture again, who presumably now, I mean, like, it starts off, you're like, okay, the, I kind of like what they're doing where it's like he doesn't give a shit about, you know, the, uh, the Ben wife? Stiller's wife anymore. Yeah. He's got his own thing going on. They He's about to past, ask this yeah. other woman to go. You're like, okay, these characters have evolved a little. That lasts for five fucking yeah, minutes where before like, he ends up with like a tattoo of his wife on his back. And you're like, really, movie? And that's, really? and that's how every scene is set up where you, they give you an idea that these characters have gone past their issues. Yeah. And then something stupid happens to where it, it, it basically pulls them around full circle again. So you, it's like you're rewatching the first movie. It's a remake of the first movie. But like a hundred times worse. W- way and worse. No unrealistically thought, exaggerated. Yeah, no thought gone Because like in this, the first yeah. movie, when Robert De Niro's paranoid and he's like setting up little traps for Ben Stiller to yeah. prove he's kind of a, a, a worthless douche, you're like, okay, well, he doesn't really know. He's a jerk and he doesn't really know, but he doesn't really know this guy. So this movie starts with them. I mean, they're kind of friends now, really. You're yeah. like, okay, they've been through all this. There's a certain amount of respect and that is flat out said but when a misunderstanding leads robert de niro to believe ben stiller is cheating on his wife he turns into the biggest douchebag of all time i mean to the point of physical violence you're like wait this would never go here this doesn't even make sense yeah no this movie it really if there was something to hold it together somewhat of a script it would be okay meanwhile we've had three movies for robert de niro to lighten up okay I mean, this guy is a total fucking asshole in this film. And by this point, you think that, okay, I'm not even expecting them to like get along, but let's not have a movie called Little Fuckers. If they're going to be, if they're going to be that way, let's just have the movie where they go on a road trip, sure. you know, or something like that. Or let's have a, a Sanford and Son version of this. Mm-hmm. But no, they got to give us this nonsense here. And I really have progressively hated Ben Stiller for just constantly taking Rob De Niro's crap through all these films. 
I mean, at, he the guy has no spine. The, the, Rob De Niro is the kind of person where you would kill him at some point. <laughs> well, you would, yeah. you know, you, well, would, you find, would try. You, yeah, we, <laughs> well, that, was, like, that was a problem I had even with the first movie where. I was just like, look, there's no way anybody would go through this without at least taking their girlfriend aside and saying, look, if your dad's going to act like this, I'm just going to leave. Yeah. There have oh. been so many situations where Ben Stiller has had an accident with Robert De Niro. I mean, one of those accidents should be the one where Ben Stiller walks away yeah. and says, hey, your father's dead. There was nothing I could do. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like he's that, that scene in this movie where he buries him under sand. That's to be the scene where he just leaves him there. Yeah. You know, Oops, it, I didn't see nothing. Yeah. No, it, it, this, is, this is fucking ridiculous, oh, that's man. That's horrible that that happened. Well, it's no, funny seeing I, you no. guys like really knock your brains around trying to make sense out of this garbage. I, that's funny <laughs> to me, too. <laughs> because, well, yeah, because it is it is total garbage. It is. It, 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 is, it is just it's, it's pure nonsense that people go out and see. You know, people are, uh, like I said, people are going to go see this movie. It's going to make tons of money. And that's why it works, because people like this kind of brain dead type of family humor. You know, So you give it a matinee. Uh, I will give it a full price. Uh, just cause <laughs> it, it completed its job, finally. As far, as far as the trilogy, it did come full circle. All the answers that you've always been dying to know about have been answered. And yes, it all leads up to this movie series means nothing but bullshit. You were, talk <laughs> you were talking yes. about uh, Ben Stiller and not liking Ben Stiller. I, you know me. I'm on the Ben Stiller hate team completely i'm waving the pennant i'm wearing the colors the whole deal in fact there's a terrible movie called uh with with joaquin phoenix that came out this year uh, oh, wow. uh i'm still here. i'm still here where ben stiller's in it for a little while and joaquin phoenix is calling him out for like his movies sucking so bad his comedies and that was the only moment of that whole film i liked and i identified yeah. with joaquin phoenix i'm like god dude you nailed him on that <laughs> <laughs> but you know here i will admit the one thing i kind of liked was that, and I think this is just because he's so exhausted with making these movies at this point, because he just looks tired, but he doesn't really put up with a lot of Robert De Niro's shit here. He just kind of goes, Robert De Niro's yelling at him, and he doesn't, like in the previous movies, he gets all goofy and wow, wow, wow. He just like looks bored. He's like, whatever, man, and just walks off. And I'm like, good, don't take that shit. Just go, just just walk away from that asshole. Don't, guy, don't play into his game. He's had the look that I've had ever since day one of walking into that first fucking meet the shitheads movie. I I, I, yeah, I'm, I, I, yeah, I, I'm like this is this is the type of movie that they, they they're waiting. They're, it's like it's like the Pied Piper playing his flute. Yeah, and there's an audience. I don't know who the fuck they are. I don't know Rats. where they come from, <laughs> whose dick they're sucking, but they come. They come flocking into these to, to this series, and I just don't get it. I, I, it's not it's not meant for me to no, understand right. or get. I really did like Robert De Niro in the first movie. Uh, Jack Burns is the guy's name. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you know, he's an ex secret agent guy or something you know he, and that was cool i thought that was clever and now he's just a dick and he's kind of a retard yeah, yeah. and he you know is. and we've come to like kind of think like okay this family is just very ultra conservative and and just very straight and narrow to now this is a family of mutants i will say that there were some scenes and you heard me laughing in there there's a scene where i mean i still laugh at certain things that rob de niro's character will do to go out his way just to try to track down uh on uh ben stiller like there's that scene where they're on the train and, and Ben Stiller know that he's being followed. And it's funny, like, seeing him being followed. He's like, look, man, I know you're following me. And then there's a scene where I thought it was cheesy, but there's a ball pit scene. I'm going to laugh at anything with a ball pit. Well, that was the funniest that, scene that in the was, whole movie. That was they the do one a, thing. That yeah. was the one scene that was laugh yeah. out loud. Yeah, so they do a takeoff on Jaws that involves Ben Stiller, Rob De Niro, and a bunch of kids in a ball pit. That's all I'll say. You can take it from there. But like I said, man, you know, again... Those don't offer anything to the story. It's just they're just there for a quick, cheap laugh. And even in the context of the film versus the other films, where the first film at least were like, okay, these are plausibly real people. You know, I mean, exaggerated, but you know, okay, maybe. You look at this and here, it's like, really? He's like sw swimming around in the ball pit like that? Okay, all right, sure, that wouldn't happen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I like at near the end of the movie where where you say Robert De Niro just gets really violent with Ben Stiller. Yeah, they had a kids' party. They're fighting. And people still just walking around eating cotton candy, yeah, playing games. Kind of looking at, Nobody's looking at. looking at anything. Like everybody's just doing their business. Knock you know? down, drag out. I knock down, fucking drag. I mean, they're beating yeah. the shit out of each other with this blood involved and everything. Yeah. And all these kids, like, man, this part is too good to turn away from. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just supposed to be fair with what we got kids, a clown. Yeah. kids watching wrestling and stuff. They probably really think this is the best part. You know, I, I wish when I was a kid they had had like a I big know. fight like that, and they would be like, fuck yeah, this party just got awesome. It's oh, Leon, Leon, real quick though. I mean, this is probably gonna break your heart, but you know, for me i've really been 
waiting for a really long time to see De Niro and Harvey Keitel act together uh, in a movie. <laughs> are they both, and is the, Harvey the sad this? fucking yeah. thing about this uh, film is that <laughs> Ben Stiller and his evil powers managed to get those two back together uh, to have a, a, a decent scene where they're yelling at each other where Harvey Keitel plays a landscaper who's completely destroyed the backyard of where the, the birthday party was supposed to happen. And Robert De Niro's like, what in the fuck are you doing? And they get into a little tussle with each other, yeah. which is like, that's great, but why in the fuck did I have to sit uh-huh. yeah. through and watch it in this film? Another story, by the way, that went absolutely nowhere. That, went nowhere. nowhere. Where that, that they yeah. don't resolve at all. That could have had some <laughs> fucking meat to it, you know? Yeah. But of course, I'm like, no, I wasn't expecting. I'm like, no, he's going to disappear just like every other motherfucker in this movie's disappeared. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, you know what, man? I, I think y'all know what I think about this. What are your ratings? Uh, uh, yeah, this movie is is some old bullshit, but it's pretty close to a fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I hated it so much. I mean, even with those moments, I laughed. Immediately afterwards, I felt a sense of guilt. <laughs> I was like, no, oh, it, it wasn't it, really it, funny. It's like, it's like a, a, no. a Karen Silkwood shower when you get home. I know. <laughs> no, um, I, I have to admit, uh, Dustin Hoffman, he. As much as I, I I'm, oh, I'm a, Hoffman's in it he's too. he's yeah. in it, but you know when he's in it, it's it's actually he's pretty charming. I mean, you can't. You know, this well, means on the fourth when they're going to get Al Pacino involved. <laughs> you know, Why do you have I to say actually, that out loud? I was I was actually waiting for an Al Pacino cameo at some point <laughs> in this movie, but uh, when he pops up, he's he's pretty goddamn funny. But well, you know, it uh, is it is an epic. Uh, family trilogy saga type thing. <laughs> yeah. So, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I, I have to give it some old bullshit. It, I, I was on the verge of giving it a fuck you, but I have to admit that that scene with the, in the ball pit really saved it from the biggest fuck you. <laughs> Only because I was like, wow, this is awesome. You know, this, this, yeah. this, this is great. This I could see over and over. This would make a fantastic YouTube clip, clip and that's that, about it. I that's why we I would just like, love Jaws that much. Uh, yeah, that, that's yeah. why I would like to see a movie with just those two mm-hmm. in, a, in somewhat of a story. But man, look, at, at when it's all done, this is just a big cash out for all these people. Yeah. I mean, you got Barbara Streisand. You got some legends in this movie. Mm-hmm. Barbara Streisand, yeah. Dustin Hoffman, Robert De Niro. Yeah, pe- these people are in it for the money. Oh, yeah. I ain't getting a check. <laughs> I ain't getting paid. <laughs> yeah. So, I, you know, for this, that kind of makes me angry for, to see them sell it. I know we're not back in the classic days of Hollywood, even back as much as the 70s. But, Those days are over, but the, Johnny. But <laughs> damn. Nothing's over. <laughs> this, is, this is really sad for me to see all these people in this one movie. It is, If yeah. it was even remotely funny, I'd, I'd be forgiven. But you know what? I got to all those people, I got to just say, fuck you, man, yeah. for yeah. doing this. I mean, 20 years ago, this would have been a Saturday Night Live skit, not a movie. Yeah. Oh, my, don't even, man, don't even yeah. bring tears to my eyes. This is, yeah. this is, we will, look, as of right now, we have two summaries of what Hollywood has changed into. We have Raging Bull, Taxi Driver, all those kind of films leading up to what? Little Fuckers. Yeah, and that man. is that, you know that, what? That, that I is changed, a this is the only time I will ever do this. Let me change my rating to a fuck you because yeah, just just because <laughs> Corey you brought it home, just because <laughs> of what you just said, you're you're very right. I mean, and a ball pit scene doesn't doesn't justify. <laughs> we can look at that on YouTube. Yeah, man. You know, it's true. really not that hard I, I could, to think. I could have seen that for free. Even yeah, the somewhere. even yeah. the guy David uh, is it one of the one of the Whites brothers directed this. Uh, Paul Whites, you know, oh, Jay just, Roach took a hike from this. Didn't even direct- Jay Roach is living in a trailer somewhere. So seriously, I, he said, "I'm done with this kind of shit until they give him another big paycheck." Oh, but exactly. it was this kind of thing that I can only think that he said, "I'm I'm finished." But you know, David Whites is somebody that I thought like, "All right," and Paul oh, Whites too. Yeah. Uh, both of those guys, after seeing something like about a boy. I thought like okay they're coming around apparently yeah, but not. Then they'll do like what that 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 really shitty Twilight movie. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry, the second one. I have yeah. to clarify when I say oh, that. and then <laughs> then they'll come around and do something like this. Uh, yeah, you, look, if for nothing else, this movie just annoyed the hell out of me for trying to see how many things that they could do with the word fucker. It is pathetic yeah. to sit up there yeah. and see Rob De Niro have to utter those words, the God fucker, and okay. them actually do a little uh, bit of a rip. I'm sorry, you oh, know, that's God right. Fucker. Maybe it wouldn't that, have been yeah. as bad if it had, hadn't been Robert De Niro with this 10 minute erection joke thing walking walk walk around with a heart on but it's robert fucking de niro and you know what i mean maybe he doesn't even know himself but we as film fans people involved in the entertainment industry should have more respect for an <laughs> icon than that <laughs> than even that. let him yeah. do that mm-hmm. i'm sorry i was like this is making me sick watching this the was, moment you know what? Some, you're yeah. right this is a fuck you no the moment somebody yeah, yeah. came up and said and showed him the script and said you know what 
you're going to have a hard on joke in here. He should have beat the shit out of him. He should have slapped him right there on the spot. Ben spike. Stiller is going to be cradling your dick, okay, in this scene. <laughs> now this All is, right? Is that okay? Yeah. No, <laughs> this, listen. This is, this is a fuck you only because just sitting here and just thinking about this movie, reminiscing about what we just saw, what we saw. It really, and you think about all the actors, and it is kind of a sad state where you're like, "Wow, are all, are are today's acting great? Like Christian Bale, is he going to end up in one of these fucking yeah, movies? Yeah, pretty much. Is, uh, uh, fucking Ryan Gosling, yep. is he going to end up in it as soon as he has kids and is happy? Oh yeah, is, and is sitting in his nice mansion, is he going to make one of these fucking movies? I know the they're looking at us and saying, "So what, bitch? I got paid. You know what? Yeah. Big deal. But yeah, I got to watch you, know you do this kind Fuck of stuff. Fuck you. I'm not going to see your movie. All right? Yeah, you say it's a trilogy. No, this is going to be a. a Quadrilogy, quadrilogy. It's up something because <laughs> this is what we should be ready for we miss motherfucker fucker fuck him too don't fuck around dog fucker fuck a good fuck a hard fuck in the ass and the last fuck i'm gonna say is what i'm gonna get this movie go fuck yourself <laughs> damn <laughs>